Friends, I am in the kitchen again today, and today's treat is the uh, pumpkin chocolate chip cookies, and I'm super excited. I have creamed all my ingredients. This is a recipe from uh, my Montana kitchen, which is Sarah, I think Hardy, but she goes by Sarah Montana also. Anyway, these look like a very traditional, um, you can see my batter here, looks like a very traditional chocolate chip cookie. Mmm, creamy with just, there's only three tablespoons of pumpkin in here, but it looks really, really good. So I'm excited about these. Um, just an FYI, I think I posted the recipe. I'll try to remember to post it for you under the recipe. I'll try to remember the macros and pictures and all that, but I can't promise. I promise I'll try. Um, I do not have Lily's chocolate chips, which I'm sure would be absolutely fabulous. And I also don't have Trim Healthy Mama chocolate chips. What I do have is the um, chocolate bar from uh, Aldi's, the Moser Roth 85% dark chocolate. It is one of the better dark chocolates that I've had. I really like it a lot. And... Um, the last time I uh, was near an Aldi, I bought like 20 of them. So I use that almost exclusively for baking. So um, I've got my parchment pop-ups and a cookie sheet, my oven on 350, and I'm going to pop these in for 11 to 12 minutes. So I'll be back in a minute and show you. But just, it looks like a very delicious, very typical uh, chocolate chip cookie. I'll be right back. Okay, they are in the oven and it, they're really, really tasty. I hope it comes out as good as they look like they will. Um, I wanted to share with y'all, um, if you don't have Trim Healthy Mama Baking Blend, there's a recipe on uh, in the Trim Healthy Table Book. Uh, I think it's on maybe page 42 or something like that. Anyway, you can use equal parts. So if you're, um, this recipe called for one cup. So you would use equal parts. You would use one third um, golden flax meal, one third uh, coconut flour, and one third almond flour. If you have oat fiber, you can use that in place of the almond flour and it would make it a little bit lighter and less dense. Um, oh, pumpkin. Okay, this one only used three tablespoons of pumpkin. So what I do when I have recipes like this, which is often because I love my pumpkin, I take about a half a cup and pop it in a little snack size zippy and throw it in the freezer. And then that way when I'm ready to do another small pumpkin recipe, I've got a half a cup, I know it's there, and I can just pull out a small amount, use it once or twice, and I'm not losing anything. Um, because sometimes you open a can up and you throw it in the fridge and it gets moldy. So, those are two hints, and I'll be back with the finished cookie. Hey again. So these cookies smell and look amazing. And it is an S fuel. Let me just show you this. I have a cup of coffee here and a cookie. This one's a little funky. That's why I decided to eat this one. So this is an S fuel. Now I'm in maintenance mode. And so it's okay for me to once in a while um, have a crossover or fuel stack. You'll learn a little bit more about that as you go along in the study. But because this is an S and I had a deep S breakfast, I had those yummy eggs fried in butter and spinach. Um, so since this is also an S, I'm going to add a little bit of heavy cream, just a little swirl, maybe a couple teaspoons or tablespoon to my coffee. Now, perfect would be to throw in maybe a half a scoop to a scoop of collagen. But I'm not gonna do that right now because I've got some other bacon things going on. So, let me see, this cookie's still a little hot. Oh my gosh, it's really good. It's buttery, creamy. 
It is a soft cookie. Like I said, it's still hot. The dark chocolate chips are so good in there. You don't even notice that it's not a sweet chocolate chip. I made the Gwen's Nest um, brown sugar the other day. It was easy. I think I took a half a cup or a cup and I put the link in, but I'll copy it and try to put it with this, of um, gentle sweet blend and three quarters of a teaspoon of black strap molasses. It took a lot of work. I really, I mean, my arm was actually sore from mashing. I put it in, um, not a jelly jar, but like maybe the pint size jar of um, a, a mason jar. Um, and I just really mashed that in. And then I put just a couple of drops, about three or four drops maybe of maple um, extract, just to give it a little bit richer flavor. But these are good. If you like pumpkin, if you like chocolate chips, I highly recommend this. Now, if you're in weight loss mode and you had breakfast at nine o'clock, you're not supposed to eat again until about noon. You want three hours in between your meals to burn the fuel that you've given your body. So if you're in weight loss mode, like most of us are, you wouldn't want to have this as a mid-morning snack. Now, you could have one of these with your meal. Uh, that's perfectly fine. Or you could have maybe two cookies as an afternoon snack with a cup of collagen coffee and a little drop of cream in it. It won't hurt you. Mm. Y'all, we need this stuff for life. But we need Jesus for our life. Bye.